All right, let's talk about H2M. So we all know the situation with the H2M mod right now. It got shut down. Activision issued a cease and desist order to the mods team and basically told them to shut all projects down. And I kind of wanted to give my thoughts on it in a less um, frantic video. My first video that I made on this was driven primarily out of frustration with the whole shutdown thing. I mean, we all knew it was coming. We all kind of suspected it. Everybody kind of you know everybody thought it was gonna happen probably maybe we didn't know i have a couple of different opinions on this whole situation man and just like my overall final thoughts on it because i mean at the end of the day there's really no way we're gonna be able to push this probably any further i highly doubt they're gonna care that hard to actually try to make it you know make it happen let me just land on the ground first we're gonna spectate some war zone while we talk about this whole thing how is this guy already here the game just started like unless he splatted the ground too How won that gunfight? I'm gonna be completely honest. All right, we're over here with Papa Junior One and Evil King 13, 30, 30, 13. So in regards to the old HM2 mod situation, I just think it's definitely unfortunate that we didn't get a chance to actually properly experience this project. It looked extremely promising. It was gonna basically bring back a lot of old school Call of Duty fans, which is what a lot of people want. Really, they don't really want to. A lot of people don't want to play modern Call of Duty. Some people want to just go back and relive the glory days. And to be frank, I mean, when you're using another business's IP and they kind of see what you're doing, that's just probably gonna happen. They're gonna shut it down. They don't want that to happen. If that's not in their vision, they don't want it to happen. I don't necessarily agree with that philosophy. If we look at the successes of like Rockstar Gaming, I know they're not like a picture perfect example of a great gaming company. They have their faults too. But when 5M became extremely popular i talked about this in my last video they actually ended up hiring the modders for that particular mod and made 5m like a staple of gta 5 basic and what did that do that boosted the sales of gta 5 on pc like crazy more people play gta than ever with gta rp being extremely popular what i'm getting at is basically having these modded clients having these modded versions of games that allow you to basically do a lot of things that fans want to be able to do in their respective games is what draws fans back into a franchise there is a speculation that they have mw to remastered in a vault sitting somewhere all the way up in the mountains ready to release at a moment's notice maybe as a part of a bundle deal with another modern warfare or some other infinity war game and there were a ton of leaks related to infinity ward recently that's a whole other story i don't even know if i'm allowed to talk about that to be perfectly honest there's a whole situation kind of going on with infinity ward and development of cod 2026 which is supposed to apparently be like a modern warfare four i actually can't believe we're getting a modern warfare four but again i don't really know how much depth i can go into that and i don't really want to take any risks just because i don't have the power to fight activision lawsuits but in regards to h2m i'm definitely disappointed we didn't get a chance to experience the project it was a labor of love by the developers everybody knew it was going to probably get shut down to be fair like i do not understand the people that actively want to destroy everybody's like happiness or hopes in something happening people that are so i told you so oh did you guys really think we're gonna get away with that come on man like are you stupid you deserve to get it deleted you deserve to get a cease and desist like brother just because we knew that the mod was going to get shut down potentially does not make the entire situation any less disappointing like let's be completely honest here nobody likes the i told you so people man i just don't understand the mindset of trying to make people feel bad for having some kind of faith that this whole situation might not happen people want to experience older call of duties they want to relive what you consider the call of duty glory days at the end of the day that is the whole point behind these kind of passion projects Projects. people want to relive older call of duties and have fun with them all of these older call of duties are not safe to play on pc they are not getting any form of attention and that is what the entire purpose of these modded clients is supposed to do bring back attention to these older call of duties bring back people to the actual fan base and give people basically what they want people want to play these older call of duties on pc but they aren't safe they have so many issues that can lead to viruses infections getting ratted they're not safe to play at the end of the day activision can technically do whatever they want to it is their ip at the end of the day it is not up to us to basically tell them what to do with their ip no matter how much we want it to be but that still doesn't make it any less disappointing oh my god he's gonna get grenade launched or he's gonna get away what kind of aim honestly that was embarrassing i've never seen aim that bad before Oh, these guys are... Oh, okay, they got him. I was about to say, if this guy managed to 1v2 both of these guys, that'd be crazy. But my second concern with the whole H2M mod situation is how people are still able to actually access the mod right now. I don't have any tutorials on how you're supposed to do it. There's apparently a bunch of different Discord servers you could join. Like, it's it's definitely a promising prospect, but I don't want to take the chances of my PC getting infected, trying to basically install the totally legitimate versions of H2M and the totally legitimate versions of Modern Warfare Remastered. Because you're damn right it refunded that. If 
if I can't play Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, again, the servers are completely broken. They are not safe. I'm not going to keep the game. I refunded that in an instant. I'm not keeping it. Oh, man, your teammate's useless, brother. Yeah, you guys are, uh, you're a little handicapped here, honestly. Your teammate's not that good. He, he's a little useless. So, yeah, overall, there's just kind of no point, really, in even being super upset about it. I saw this kind of happening. A lot of people did. Everybody did. Jeff talked about it. Merc Music did. Raid Away did. Everybody that is a Call of Duty content creator potentially saw this happening. We are not shocked. We are not surprised out of what kind of kill cam was did I just see. It doesn't shock a single person that this entire project came down. It doesn't mean we can't feel disappointed. Most of us felt like H2M did everything right. I mean, you've got Black Ops 3 modded clients that allow modded zombies content. You've got the Plutonium servers that at some point or another, those older Call of Duties that are still, you know, available on PC with those huge servers. That at some point, a lot of those did promote piracy, which is kind of crazy when you think about it, but they're still active. This required you to have the, an entirely legal copy copy of the game it, while it did use modded modern warfare 2 remastered content again black ops 3 modded content is perfectly acceptable apparently I, I just don't understand what the disparity is like what do you have to do basically to get their approval of that makes if that makes sense like that's my whole problem what do you have to do to basically get their approval on any of this yo that camel looks insane wait is that is that interstellar i just wish for a lot of these modded client situations i wish we had some kind of like guidelines on what we're supposed to basically do if we want to get modded clients available like does it have to just be strictly modern warfare 2 no other adjustments or anything because that's basically what iw4x was it was regular modern warfare 2 granted it did have an issue with promoting piracy which is a problem obviously no company is going to like that no matter how many people are going to complain about it it makes sense that they're going to be upset about that and i'm not trying to defend a multi-billion dollar company by any means but it's just common sense no company wants to hear that people are playing an illegal copy of their game but i just want to know what are the de like what what do we draw the line what are the things that are considered acceptable in their eyes when it comes to these modded clients again you've got black ops 3 modded content and that seems to be perfectly acceptable nobody really complains about that and activision has not set out the public cease and desist orders anyway uh you know oh my so hopefully we get some more clarity on that in the future i mean i want to keep seeing modded content from call of duty thrive it's nice to be able to go and revisit these older call of duties without risking my entire pc like it's not worth playing them man and again i just really don't trust a lot of these like h2m revived like discord servers and modded clients and stuff you literally don't know at that point like what's being implemented into all of these different modded clients these revived modded clients there's just too much information kind of flowing out and about in the public space now primarily on twitter and stuff and you just can't go around trusting every single twitter link that you see obviously these guys might be the most clueless war zone players i think i have ever spectated oh my goodness man how is he getting away with this He's fighting equally terrible people. He is fighting literally equally terrible, if not worse people, because this guy by all standards is not a good player. <laughs> Overall, this situation is just weird. People are really fed up with the direction of modern Call of Duty the whole like MTX direction with all the microtransactions and stuff. The lack of real care, I guess you could say for multiplayer, obviously Warzone gets a ton of support. Although this year, Modern Warfare 3 brought a ton of multiplayer supports. So I, I have to backtrack on that a little bit. Sledgehammer did their thing. I think a lot of the lack for multiplayer primarily comes from like Infinity War and stuff, which are notorious for having, in my personal opinion, some of the worst seasons of Call of Duty thus far. Is that a Sidewinder? It does that much damage? A 20 round Sidewinder. Is he, does, does he think he's down there? Is he walling? Uh, if he was walling, he wouldn't be looking through the smoke like he was, right? Or is he just nervous? I think he's just nervous, okay. Because to be honest, with the way he plays, this would be the type of player, in my opinion, to probably start walling. <laughs> Skill-based matchmaking, MTX situations, I mean, the whole nine yards, a lot of people are just kind of over it. They want to be able to enjoy classic Call of Duties and not have to be basically forced in this direction to play the modern versions of call of duty because a lot of people are just not pleased by it frankly i like mw3 frankly i like black ops cold war i like all the black ops series games to be fair and i'm probably gonna like black ops 6 but that doesn't make this entire situation still any less like disappointing overall
I just want to see more community development for Modern Call of Duty by Activision. I, like, I, I don't blame the devs. It's not the devs' fault that these situations occur. Obviously, this is more of a legal lawsuit kind of thing. Like, there's really nothing to say about that, honestly. Like, you can't go and just add Infinity Ward or Treyarch or Raven or Sledgehammer and say, hey, how dare you guys do this? Like, it's not their fault. You can't go around harassing developers because of a situation like this. They have absolutely nothing to do with this. I'm only mentioning that because apparently people were doing that and it just makes no sense to do that. Does the other guy have any kills at all? No, he doesn't. D does he have any damage? Am I able to see? I can't see how much damage he has. We're kind of on a nice little track record where the person we inspect or the team that we inspect almost always wins. And I don't know if that's like a common thing or what when it comes to spectating Warzone. One thing I don't get is the people that over loot. Like, why are we still looting? You guys have all your weapons, you have all your gear. How about you just keep on going? He's gonna pop the UAV, buy another UAV. Oh, they've been doing recons too, I just realized. I already know what kind of in-game we're in for, man. I, I, can, I can smell it. I can sense how this is about to go. At least Warzone doesn't disappoint when it comes to spectating anyway. But if they're gonna be so quick to like shut down these situations i really want to see more public discourse from activision on the cheater situation the terrible server situation there's so many laggy servers in this game now i just want to see something man there are 21 teams still alive i just looked at all the loadout crates that fell in dude and it was well over like a dozen bro this thing is insane if he had more ammo he would probably fry with it to be honest i didn't know it did that much damage didn't they did they, did they buff it that hard and his teammate is dead and he is useless and you're gonna run out of ammo he's gonna throw a smoke grenade this guy is very good at throwing smoke grenades to basically do nothing with him oh he's gonna get the res off okay i respect it uh he's dead And the worst part is he got the res on Evil King, so we still have to sit here and watch Evil King play. Wait, did he just reland? He relanded and got the kill. What? You did not see the guy behind him? Was there a guy over there? There is a guy in front of him. Oh, he is so scared, dude. He is so afraid. What? What? Oh my God, brother. He got them both. <laughs> oh my God, he's so bad, bro. And he should get another free res right here. I have never seen anything like this. These guys have been revived like it's eight times now. What is he even doing? Play it up. Brother, if you played it up, you would have been okay. Oh my goodness, man. It isn't that hard. Just play it up. Why? Put some plates on, try to survive. He, he doesn't even know how to use that shotgun properly. What you're supposed to do with this build of this shotgun is you're supposed to put it in attack stance. All right, what's the plan here? I mean, surely he doesn't have another revive. There's specials on the ground. I don't even know if he sees that. All right, he's got it. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yeah, just get out of there, man. Yep, and he's dead. Okay, please, put us on a different team. I I'm so happy these guys are gone. Oh my god, these guys are no good either. What in the hell? What is what is this build? Are you serious? My god, none of these guys are good. I, brother. What am I watching? These are the worst Warzone players I have ever spectated in my life. I, I can't believe what I'm actually witnessing. These guys are all terrible. They are all equally terrible. I'm not the world's greatest Warzone player, but what I'm watching is embarrassing. Okay, what about this guy? He's got five kills, four spectators. There's somebody on the buy, I'm pretty certain. Y'all gotta make a decision, man. The nervousness that that guy had plates and he didn't play it up. He didn't even play it up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Why don't I get lobbies like this? I mean, I, I bet you the guys that are surviving are probably the sweatiest team, right? Okay, this guy has two kills. What about the other guy? He's got seven. I mean, that's better than anybody else we've seen, I think. Oh, he's got the revive flare. Okay, nice. He's gonna clutch up. I would get rooftop low key. There's no money over here. He's he's got a gold gas mask. There is specials on the ground somewhere over here. He's got an orange crate he can use. No kill streak, unfortunately. There's a guy to his left. There's a guy to his left. You don't hear him? You don't hear him? You fumbled that one, buddy. How is he still alive? How in the world is he? 
Wait. <laughs> that was the worst Warzone lobby. It was a proximity mod. There were so many proximity mods at the end of that game, dude. All right, overall, the point of this video was I'm disappointed that H2M is shut down. I'm not surprised, but I am disappointed. And if you're just harping on people and shitting on people because they're disappointed, telling them, oh, it's all just so like, brother, come on, man. Like, you're not going to get any love out of that. I, I get it. I get it. It's nice to be able to tell people that they suck. It it's okay. Like, I get it. People do that. That's just how life is. But it this just sucks overall for the entirety of the Call of Duty community. And um, I was hoping for better.